Ready, gang, we're going to evaluate this integral, x squared times e to the negative x squared from 0 to infinity. It's going to be short. It's going to be awesome. And just note, I got many modifications of this integral if you want to check this out. And just note, this function is called a Gaussian function. So we're going to ev evaluate this integral by using integration by parts. But first, we're going to split up the x squared into x times x. And I'm going to show you why we did that very shortly. Uh, to do integration by parts, the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. So we need to find out what our u's or du's or v's and our dv's are. We're going to set u equal to x. Therefore, our du equals dx. And therefore, dv has to equal everything else. So that's what we're setting up here. Now, to evaluate this, to find out what v is, I should say, we need to integrate this. Uh, but to integrate this, we got to do a substitution. So we'll set, say, n equal to negative x squared. Uh, therefore, the derivative of n with respect to x equals negative 2x. Some people use a u for u substitution, but it's, it's just a variable, and we already used u here. So now we're going to rearrange this to solve for x dx, and that's the whole reason why we split this up, so that we can have an x here. And if we rearrange this equation, x times dx equals dn over negative 2. So x times dx is going to be dn over negative 2. Hope you can see that. We're just rearranging this equation. Uh, and negative x squared is equal to n, so we're substituting into here. We can now evaluate this integral. So the integral of dv is v, and the integral of this is our friend. The integral of en uh, dn is just en, that's itself. And the negative one half comes along for the ride. We're going to put the negative in the numerator. It doesn't really matter. Now we don't care about n, we care about x. So we're going to substitute this back and get negative e to the negative x squared rather than n over 2. And now we have everything we need to substitute or stuff in for integration by parts. So u is x, right? u is x here. v is this. We just solved for v, so we'll substitute that in. The limits of integration are still from 0 to infinity because everything's in terms of x. And v right here is our v that we evaluated. And then du is equal to dx, so everything's substituted in here. Now this first part's not an integral anymore. We could just go from infinity to 0 and... <laughs> Um, some mathematicians don't like this. This really is a, this is kind of like street talk in a way. Uh, we shouldn't put plug in infinity. We should say this is a limit as a variable goes to infinity of that var variable of the variable here. But if you're all right, I could just use this notation. If this really annoys you, let me know. Um, but this first term here is going to go to zero because the denominator is going to go to infinity faster than the numerator. And here, uh, again, the same thing. This is going to go to zero. So as we go to zero, this is going to go to zero uh, um, faster than this one. But this is literally just zero if, if we plugged in zero for x. So it's it's not really an uh, issue. This is both of these terms are zero. So this whole thing is zero. Now on this side, this is nice. If we just clean this up, these two negatives cancel out to make a positive. We yank the one half out of the integral. And now we have this. To, this is another Gaussian function. It's a little simpler than what we started with, but it's still a bit of a problem. And it's, again, it's another beast on itself. It's equal to root pi over 2. And if you want to know how I got that, I got a, a short but very detailed video on evaluating this integral. So just check that out. It's another two minutes of your life or so. Uh, it's root pi over 2. So that means this whole thing root pi over 2 times this 1 half is root pi over 4, and that's our integral. So the integral of x squared times e to the negative x squared from negative infinity to infinity is root pi over 4. Right on. Good luck on your midterms, final exams. Hope you got some value from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.